my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you an example conversion on a Duramax XP 15,000 EH. Now this is the dual fuel series through the factory and we're going to go ahead and show you how the process is of using your existing kit with our parts for you to be able to run this on natural gas. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, now this is their setup here. This is the propane regulator, um, and this is a, a propane regulator back here also, but it's also your natural gas. This is what controls how much fuel volume you get into your carburetor here. So what we're going to first do is go ahead and remove this hose off here. Okay. that clamp off there and then we'll go ahead and get this one removed up here and you know save this hose um, obviously if you ever want to go back to the existing propane you can um, that way you got it there all right take that and we're going to go ahead and remove the inlet fitting here okay go ahead and remove that now the hose coming to your carburetor adapter comes over to the outlet of the regulator here. We're going to go ahead and remove that, this clamp here with this hose. Now you're not going to go up and take it away from the end of the carburetor because this is where we're going to inject our fuel in for our natural gas. So let's just pull this out here and we'll take this to the side. And then what we're going to do is remove this fitting here on the outlet side of the regulator alrighty and then we'll go ahead and show you the steps of installing our process for it okay so now that we've got everything removed that we need what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll supply you a 90 degree elbow here let's go ahead and put some pipe pipe compound on it and we'll get this started here and you're going to need a pipe wrench obviously for this and it's a tight fit in here so Go ahead. And a couple more turns here. All right, almost. And we're just going to bring it straight out. All right, and then we'll show you the next process. Okay, then we'll go ahead and install our three-quarter inch close nipple here. Put that on there, and again, put some, we'll either supply you with pipe compound or some tape. And we'll give you a ball valve here. Go ahead and get that screwed on. And we'll get that tightened down. And before we tighten this, what we're going to do is go ahead and get our quick connect hose hooked up to it um, that's what we'll supply with it um, and there'll be two open orifice quick connects and I'm just going to leave a little bit of on an angle there all right and then we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on that okay now that we've got that where we kind of got a little bit where we obviously when we tighten these down we can pull it in place for us so again some pipe compound a little bit more on this side and then this will be the male connector notice that they are open orifice that is very very crucial when it comes to running a combustionable engine a lot of people think that they can just go get one that runs for a furnace or a grill or kind of like an outdoor barbecue fire pit um, they them will not work you have to have these true open id orifice so we'll go ahead and get that started on there and we'll get this locked down and then that way it'll pull our ball valve straight here for us. Cosmetically it'll look a little bit better. Alright, a couple more turns here. It should start pulling it straight. There we go. Alright, we got that installed. Let's go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now when we took out the fitting from the top here on the outlet that goes to the carburetor okay this fitting that they supply is orifice for natural gas 
okay? So we have to change this, and we'll give you this fitting here, and it has an adjustment on it. That way you can set it to whatever pressures that you have at your house for your meter, um, and you'll be able to run it. So let's we'll go ahead and get that installed back here on the outlet side. And what we're going to do is just kind of position this forward because we're going to use this existing hose here. We're not going to cut it. That way, if you ever want to go back to your propane side, you can. So let's go ahead and tighten this down. And we'll get that positioned over again, like I say, in the front to give you a little better... Tough spot back there, that's for sure. It's tight. So let's go ahead and see if we can get it to go a little bit more. Once I get it turned past that, then I can swing it a little better. All right. Hopefully I can get it back on this side. Okay, good. All right. Then we'll go ahead and swing this. I kind of position a little bit towards the outer side of the frame, kind of just a little bit of an angle, not straight across here, but a little bit this way. We'll go ahead and bring your hose around and just connect that hose back to that there. Make sure you got no kinks in it or anything, okay? And then we'll go ahead and get our clamp locked down on this. And then that'll finish that step. All right, and then that locked down then what we're going to do is we're going to supply you a capper here because bees like to get in this stuff so we'll supply you a cap to go up here that way of dust dirt bees anything like that you're all right we'll lock that down now we'll get ready to set this up and run it on natural gas okay we've got everything connected to this now now it's going to be hard to see back here but where the hose is coming off the outlet of the regulator going to the carburetor you remember we replaced that fitting there uh, with a power elbow adjustment. Now we'll set this as close as we can here, but every meter is a little bit different, so you might have to tweak it a little bit. Out is rich, in is lean. So we'll go ahead and again, like I referenced in the beginning of the video, it's very crucial to have the quick connects with open orifice. Now we're going to offer this kit um, with 20 foot, um, Actually, we're going to start off with 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot, 40 foot, and 50 foot increments when you purchase this kit. Everything will come with it that you've seen, including the hose and all the fittings, uh, obviously from increments from 10 to 50 feet. So let's go ahead and connect that up. We'll get our natural gas on. All right, now there is no primer button on the back of this unit. So if you have a long line, uh, it could take a little bit to bleed this out or get your air out of the system. So you could be cranking for a little bit. So let's go ahead. Now I've kind of got that preset over there because I have ran this a few times. So let's go ahead and start her up. gas okay that shows you the steps on converting your uh, Duramax XP 15,000 EH uh, the dual fuel series uh, for the propane and gasoline over to run natural gas basically using with it some of the components that you already have on here so again like I said we'll offer the custom kit um, with the increments of 10 foot uh, 20 30 40 and 50 that you can purchase on the website uh, if you're interested in purchasing this from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 
992-2648. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps out and uh, have a wonderful day.